Hey guys, we have a few errors in our code, so we're going to fix some bugs and also change something in our backend. So I want to go over the backend change first. Now, this is a mutation. We're doing a create team mutation where we want to create a team, and then we're also creating a channel for that team, um, kind of as a default channel, their first one, and we're calling it a general channel. But there's a small problem with this. What happens if we create the team and then our channel you know gets an error for some reason then we'll have a team without a channel and right now we're expecting all our teams to have channels so that's a problem so what we'd like to happen is if our channel doesn't get created we also don't want to make our, our team we don't want our team to be created so we want to throw an error and we want to throw the error and have neither of these created if channel can't be created now the way we do this is by creating a sequelized transaction um, so the way we do that, well, a database transaction or a Postgres transaction, and you do that with SQLize by calling SQLize.transaction. And then we're going to put a function in there, and then we're going to have the body of whatever we want to do, whatever we want to create. So we're going to say models.sqlize.transaction, and then we're going to have in here a function. I'm going to create an async function. And then we're just going to put these guys in here. And now we're just going to return team. So now up here, I'm going to say const response is equal await that guy. And our team is just going to be the response. So now what's going to happen is we create a transaction. And if there's any error, whether our channel doesn't create or our team doesn't create, neither will be created. And we'll catch, we'll go to our errors. Otherwise, we'll create a team. We'll create a channel and then we'll return uh, the team to our response right here and our response we're awaiting it um, when that's done we'll return the team which we get from that so our transaction returns whatever we return inside this function so we're gonna grab the team and put it there so now we're covered uh, if our channel doesn't create we don't have just some random team in our database that doesn't have a channel cool so now let's go back to the front end so I talked about some errors that we were getting. Here's one of the possible errors that we're getting. I'm over here at view team, and this is when I'm not logged in, so I have no uh, tokens here. So when this happens, uh, I'd like to redirect them to the login page, and this is a really quick fix. I just need to make this a private route um, instead of just a regular route. So we made a regular route um, when we were just uh, working on the view and wanted to change what it looked like. So now we get redirected to log in perfect. Um, so now I can log into this and I can head over here to view team and it should work okay. Awesome. But there's more problems. So what happens if I'm this user right here? Um, actually, you know, let's create a new user real quick. I create a new user um, and we'll call this 17. And I want to come over here. I'm going to log in with this user. And I want to come over here to view team and check out my teams. Oh, whoa, error. Uh, the reason for that is we don't have any teams, right? We just created our first team, or we haven't created our first team yet. So what we want to do is in our view team over here is we just want to check if all teams is empty. So if not, all teams length. we know the user hasn't created any teams so what we want to do is we just want to redirect them to the create team page so they can do that so we're just going to return a redirect and we're going to take them to um, create team and now redirect that's coming from react router so we're going to import uh, that from react router So now let's give that a try. Now I'm coming over to view team with my guy and we get redirected. And if you didn't see that, we can do that one more time. I'm heading over here to view team and we just get scooted right over here to create a team first. So perfect. So that error is covered. Now we're kind of assuming right now that the team ID and the channel ID are good ones. And what I mean by that is I can cause some shenanigans here by putting 
uh, I don't know ha 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 and coming in here so there's nothing that says oh here let's create a team first uh, team one and now we oh I think we just broke view team nope view team is good uh, it didn't redirect though you guys, did you guys see that after I created the team so let's do team two okay looks good we'll we'll check that at the end we'll come back to that um, so if I put up here a bad thing in our route here we're mapping the team ID but nowhere do we say the team ID has to be an integer and we can't really tell react router we expect an integer we have to handle all types so if I put this in here my team ID is gonna be ha 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 and we're gonna get an error right because ha 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 is not an integer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, team ID integer um, is really gonna be we're gonna say we're gonna say it's equal to negative one, um, and I'm gonna say try. Actually, I don't actually know um, how to handle this, so I don't know how node. We're gonna pop over here and type node. I don't know how parse int works if it's not. So if I put ha 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 ha, I don't know if it's undefined. Okay, not a number. Um, and let's see if that evaluates to true or false. Okay, that evaluates the false. So, come back over here. So we don't need to have a try catch. All we have to say is, we're gonna parse int, and we're gonna do that for the team ID. So team ID integer, and if not team ID integer, all we're going to do is we're going to redirect. So I'll redirect to view team. So we're going to just redirect them. Oops, what did I mess up? Oh, forgot to close the tag. So we're just here. We're just going to redirect them back to view team, um, which they'll have no team ID. Now we have to kind of, you know, be wary of this because. Um, this causes a new problem, right? If we just redirect back to view team, getting rid of the ha 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 ha, um, the team ID is still gonna be undefined and it's not gonna work. So really what we need to do is check the uh, team ID here, So, which we are. So we should really pass, uh, check the integer. We don't even have to use this. So team ID integer. And otherwise, we grab the uh, zero. So that's good. So we grab the first team, but there's another possible. Uh, actually, there's not a problem. I was going to say there's. We don't have to grab this anymore. We don't have to parse it here. So team ID integer, and we want to do the same thing with our channel. So uh, channel ID integer. So now we're gonna do a move our channel ID up here. Channel ID, okay. So if we can't parse it to an integer, we know they gave us something bad, or maybe it's blank. And so we'll just default uh, to zero. And that works. So now if I put ha ha ha, we'll just default to zero over there. And said, I was thinking about doing a redirect and fixing the URL, but because uh, it would be nice to like get rid of that, right? So if I put ha ha ha, I want to change that to now look like this. Um, so ha ha ha, and then we can do um, blah 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 blah, right? All right, so now we're covered, nothing breaks, and I can create a new channel, and I can change to it, everything's good. And then when we click on these, it's good, right? So one way we could, you know, fix these is 
Nah, I don't want to do it. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to display it like this, even if they give us a bad URL here, because we just default, and as soon as they click something, it fixes it up here. Okay, so now we're handling that, and there's one last thing I wanted to um, handle, and that's if we don't have any channels. Now, ideally, we should have channels, but there could be a, um, for some reason, our channel does not exist. So right here, we are just going to say, channel and so if we don't have a channel for whatever reason that will not display so if you've never seen this syntax before what I'm doing is I'm saying channel has to exist and if it exists then show this it's kind of shorthand for doing this if you've seen the ternary operators where you display this if a channel is true otherwise you show null and that's kind of shorthand so we're saying if this is false though then we don't get to this part of the uh, other side of the boolean statement so we never get here so this does not evaluate to true or false what it will do is it'll evaluate header or it'll show nothing so we know this stuff is still rendering now I want to go back to that one error we saw because that was kind of interesting. That was our create team. So if I create a new user, um, let's call this guy 18. And I come over here to view team. We get redirected. That's cool. Oh, I didn't log in yet. All right, so we should get redirected to create team. Good. So now when I created a team last time, it went to view team and then it redirected me back here. So I'll show you that. So if I go to, uh, if I create the team ABC, watch the URL up here when I hit submit. Oh, am I not logged in? Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Let's log in again. Did the login work okay? I don't know what this post message can I read properly see oh. Did we break our back end? So okay, cannot read property sequelize of undefined duplicate key. I don't know. Okay, we're getting a rollback. I actually don't know what just happened. So let's come back to, uh, I think I maybe just because I pushed it once. I'm not sure what just happened. I want to create a totally new user. So I'm going to call this guy Bob19. And let's see if the same exact thing happens. So I submit. We register OK. Nothing weird happens. Now I go to login. Login with 19. We don't get that weird hook thing here. I'm going to go to view team. We should get redirected. Now I'm going to make the team ABC again. Oh, that's right. Um, we don't, we're not catching this. Because there's already a team called ABC, we're getting an error. So we're not handling that. So we should handle that as well. Basically, we're saying um, the team name has to be unique. So if we come over to here to our database, um, team. See how we have the name unique? Because we already have in our database, let's check to make sure. P SQL, head over to Slack, select all from teams. Okay, since we already have a team called ABC, we can't create another team called ABC. But that's not the problem. That's that's the problem we need to fix eventually. Is just to show an error to the user here. But uh, let's create another one. Okay, that seems to be working okay now. I, I thought I thought it redirected, um, but we do need to like show the error to the user. So in our front end right now, you saw how I got redirected to login. So let's let's just, let's see that again. So ABC, I get redirected to login. The reason for that is in our code for this. So create team, we said we caught any errors. 
right here. So we put a try catch somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. So any errors that we get, we then pass to login. Any like undefined error, we should be just passing the error back. So we're getting a rollback, which we expect, right? Because when we create the team, it fails. We get a validation error. We put this in a try catch though, so I thought we should go to this and return an error here. We should get, our errors should come here, not here. I'm not sure why it's coming there. Um, cannot read property SQLize of undefined. Oh, here. So format errors, that's our problem. So format errors, we need to pass in the model. So see how we have error in the model? There we go, pass in models. So now I think we should get an error message when we do create team. So A, B, C. Nope. We still, oh, no. Oh, this is on add team member. Okay, so I was doing this wrong multiple places. Here's our create team, so models. So let's see all the places where I'm calling format errors and make sure I am passing it in correctly. Nope, I'm not passing it in correctly here either. There's models. All right, we do use models there. And then our user, we're passing in there, cool. So now let's see if we get an error message. Uh, we don't, cannot return null for non-nullable field. So let's look at what we did with our schema. So create team, we're doing create team response team this should be null because sometimes we can't return a team if there's errors so we're going to make team nullable now all right let's try it again abc awesome so name must be unique so we could probably make a better error message saying the team has already been made but there we go we get our error now so now i have to do a different name and cool we're able to come in here and create our team Awesome, so we got a lot of errors out of the way there. So our app is now more robust and handling anything users try to throw at us, which is good. So that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna be putting this code on GitHub so you can check it out and play with it. And I'll see you next time.